In the future, our 3D printed robot pets will take control of the AC system. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. If you want to cool the temperature of your home air conditioner, just ask Google to do it for you. The Nest Smart Home Thermostat is evolving to automate your home in new ways. It will be able to communicate with various other appliances and apps. Google is the parent company of Nest, so for starters, you'll be able to use Google Now voice commands on your smartphone to change the thermostat settings. But the Nest will work with more than just Google. The device can talk to Whirlpool laundry machines to activate energy saving modes. And certain Mercedes-Benz models can be programmed to tell the Nest to set the temperature when the car is heading back home. And if the Nest Protect detects smoke, well, the LifeX color-changing LED light bulb will turn red and start flashing. Now, if all this connectivity and shared data has you on red alert, Nest says it's aware of possible security concerns. It programmed in some safeguards, and it will not share emails, names, or home addresses with other companies. Now, if you want to truly live in the home of the future, you're going to need a robot. But don't worry, it's really easy and affordable to print and program your own robot buddy, thanks to Intel. This is Jimmy the Robot. He's an open-sourced walking, talking machine that anyone can program and build, starting at $1,600. His plastic body design is printed from a 3D printer, but you don't need to have a printer at home. Intel can mail you the pieces to snap together. You don't need a college degree to program Jimmy. There will be apps to make it easy to give the robot different commands. The goal has always been to get it into schools. We've really been talking with makers and roboticists who will go and build it themselves, but really the goal is to get as many kids imagining, designing, and building robots as possible. You don't have to have a PhD, you don't have to learn artificial intelligence, you just download apps. You can go to the app store and download apps to, so your robot will do whatever you want it to do. Jimmy is powered by Intel's Edison chip, which is the same processor that Intel is using for small wearable devices. The goal is to have him and other designs available for purchase in September. Now, Intel has a few other innovations coming out this year. It created a camera for laptops and tablets that can understand distance. You can have a conference call on Skype that crops out the background so it only shows you on the screen, and then you can back away to disappear. The camera also can create a 3D image of anything to be turned into plastic on a 3D printer. I think I'll need to use this to scan my face so I can replace Jimmy the Robot's head with my head and I shall create a Robo Bridget. That's your Tech News Update from our studios in New York. I'm Bridget Carey.